The Rat Lux is getting a new radio. Got myself one of these bad boys. I've seen them all over the internet and I've always thought those look pretty cool. I think I might want to give one of those a go. So here we are, we've got it. I'm going to make a video on how to replace the old one with this one to show you how easy it is. I've got this head unit through a company called Kiwi Car Parts which have a whole range of stereo units like this for all different sorts of cars. They've also got windscreen wipers, indicators, heaps of other stuff. So go check out their website. They've also given us a discount code RATLUX for all of you guys wanting to give these radios a go just to get a little bit cheaper for you guys. Um, so go and hit up their website, but let's get this in the RATLUX. You're wondering what comes in the kit the whole kit comes like this. So it's got the option for the push buttons for the SR5s and it comes with all the wiring harnesses. Firstly, what I'm gonna start doing is pulling these knobs out. A Phillips head screw here, but hopefully we can pop the top off. Just like that. Undo this bad boy. And then there'll be a couple clips behind these two pins for this front fascia for those buttons, which we want to unclip, which should be able to just push pin down and pull out. Get that off, and now what we're gonna do, pull this unit out. Finger on it so you don't drop it. Right, now those are out. This unit should be able to pull it out and you'll be able to unclip the aerial and the two harnesses going into the back. Just like that. Now what we're gonna have to do is change over these buttons, which have four screws on the back. So what you're going to undo is unscrew those and these will slide out of the adapters. You'll be able to just push it through and just like that. And then from the back, push it in, it'll just click in. On to the next one. Slide it through, push it in. There you go. Now we're gonna swap these air vents over to the new one. To do that, come around the back and there's these clips here, which should just be able to pop off from finger tight. There's another one down here. And then it pivots at the top like that. And then you should be able to click it back in the same way you got that one out. Bang that there. Send it up. There we go, there's one in there. That should be in and good to go. We're back in the car. What we're gonna do is take these little yellow clips off and put them onto the new surround so that it can stay in place. Right. Thanks. 
safety pin. Cool, now that we've got that sorted, is feed down the GPS signal and the microphone through and down underneath out the foot pedal well so we can stick them here so that they're out from behind the dash. tucked in there nicely and out of the way put the twist tie back on there so she's tidy now let's wire her in we've got this one plugs straight in at the top this one, this one here, plugs straight into there. We've got our GPS to go in. We've got our air conditioning and our hazards. Kind of hard to show you which one goes where. But they all have somewhere to click into and that's the reason they have so many adapters is so that they can fit all different models of different cars and everything's universal that's all that plugged in and then we've got our aerial which is a very short one which goes in the back of there and then before before you fully clip it into place you're gonna want to turn it on and make sure you've got everything clipped into the right spot and that it works which we have Let it set up for the first time. Boom. Let's just check that. There you go. Coming up in the next 10. We've got Zoom. reception. ZM's podcast network is letting you in on our... We've got reception. Everything seems to be working. So what I'm going to do now is push it all back in so it's all clicked into place. It's kind of well, I'm kind of happy with that. We'll put that little screw back in that we put took out of here and then put all our dials back in and we're away. We've also got this bad boy to go on. So we're gonna give her a wipe. Check it out. There's a plastic film on this. We can take that off and we can take this one off too. Look at that. <laughs>